Good morning, everybody. Have you ever wondered when you're going on vacation that there's maybe something that the locals know? You know those creatures you shouldn't tangle with? They look pretty but might make you go to the hospital. In this video, I wanna talk about those guys that'll ruin your day and might make you take a trip to the hospital here on the Gulf Coast and here in Florida. And no, I'm not talking about sharks and all those toothy creatures that you'd normally think. Not the ones that you would think that are dangerous. We're talking about the ones you probably wouldn't think about. So in this video, we're talking about those ones that'll bite back. Here we go, guys. I got a cup of coffee. It's gonna be interesting. I got a Jack oh, got oh, oh, Jack's got one on the tree I truck. Like this forever. I wanna stay right here. So I've lived on the Gulf Coast pretty much my entire life, minus the Army. And I've been pro prodded, electrocuted, shocked, stuck, bit by a lot of those things out there. Those things I learned the hard way. Been in the hospital a couple times over these things. So I want to talk about the top five creatures on the beach here in Florida that'll ruin your day. I want to do this video for the people that don't get to come to the Gulf Coast in Florida very often and, and they don't really know which ones out there that are dangerous. All the guys that are out here, the locals, y'all know. So this video kind of pertains to the people that are kind of, that they haven't been around like offshore or the beach a lot. And, and these things really need to be taught. And I don't think a lot of people have actually talked about these very much. So the number five creature out there that'll ruin your day and around June, July, they come in in the droves. Really, July is the worst, and that's the jellyfish. You'll see a lot of like the red jellyfish just floating around, um, but the one I wanna talk about is the Portuguese man of war. I have a scar on my arm right here. It's like this. It fades, it's fading away, but when I was like, 14 something like that I got stung by one when I was snorkeling and my arm swole up it was awful it was one of the worst pains I've had like year to date okay or life to date whatever you want to say it was not fun it hurt bad and they're purple and they have long tentacles and sometimes when you're offshore especially past the second sandbar. A lot of surfers will, will attest to this too. Uh, when you're past that second sandbar, you will see their tentacles just dangling for you know four or five feet, and sometimes there'll be a fish in it. So that rounds up the number five. If you see them, killing me with that chair. <laughs> <laughs> that should go in your vlog. Brant's over here making noises. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Trying to be serious. We got a smaller room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we downgraded. Hashtag roommate problems. So moving right along, the number four creature on the beach that will make your day not a good one, really the next day, is what we call sea lice. And here in Florida, they're not what you think a sea lice is. They're not like, you know, a crustacean parasite but it's the offspring of the thimble jellyfish. During the summer, sometimes you get purple flags out on the beach, that means uh, uh, dangerous marine life or whatever, and you'll get these, they, they look like you got lice, and you'll have these bumps all over you, almost like chiggers. So it's not like you got the fleas or lice, but it's the thimble jellyfish, their little eggs have hatched, and those little dudes are doing some hurt to you. So that is the number four one, and that one will not be good. As far as having an outbreak with them, it's pretty rare here in Florida, like Pensacola, Destin, Fort Walton. Um, I'm not real sure about South Florida and the Atlantic side. I think the Atlantic side actually does have sea lice. Comment down below if you know. But the thimble jellyfish and his little creatures, his lost spring, those aren't fun. Moving right along to number three, and this is the third spot, and this one's bringing up a nasty little creature, and that's the stingray. I mean, this dude, he's got a barb in his tail that's pretty gnarly. The big ones have a big barb in their tail. And if you know Steve Irwin, he found out the hard way. You swim with him, you mess with the horns, sometimes you get the horns. He messed with the stingray and that thing came at him. Got him, all she wrote. So we don't wanna mess with stingrays. The thing about stingrays here on the Gulf Coast is you gotta do what's called the stingray shuffle. And that's when you when you walk in the water, especially in the shallow, if you're around grass or on sandy bottoms, like around the shore on the beach, you wanna shuffle your feet in the sand to kinda of like scare them up before you step on one. Because if you step on a stingray, he's either gonna slap you or he's gonna stick you. And that barb will go right in your leg or your foot and you're gonna be in a hurt, and you're probably gonna have to go to the hospital because they have like a venomous 
thing to them and it will hurt. It'll get infected and you will wish that you did not encounter this little creature and they get big. They get big. I've called them really big. And then sometimes they can be little. So word to the wise, if you catch one or you step on one, don't mess with him. Put him back. Or if you're gonna keep him and you're gonna eat him, because some people do like to eat him, cut his tail off. Cut the barb part off. Do whatever you want to to him. But if he's got that tail, he will swing that thing like a bull whip and he will get you. I promise you. <laughs> I'm scared to death of those things. So don't mess with the stingray. And if you catch one, be careful. The number two one that will send you to the hospital is the hardhead catfish. I've talked a lot about this one in some of my other videos, but I'm trying to make a point with these catfish. Don't mess with salt water, have hardhead catfish. They will send you to the hospital. I have a scar right here. And I went to the hospital two o'clock in the morning to the Santa Rosa Medical uh, Emergency Room uh, because I had a, a hardhead catfish spine go through my hand. Because when they go in, you can't get them back out unless you yank them out. So I had to cut his fin off and then I had to take a pair of pliers and rip it out of my hand while I was at the hospital. They had to x-ray my hand because the ligament damage from the, the tine, because it's serrated. And it, it my hand swole up like a softball. It was one of the, some of the worst pain you'll ever have. They have like a toxin or, or a venom or infl inflammatory whatever on their fins and it makes it hurt really bad. Comment down below if you know the scientific name for the stuff that's on their fin. It is nasty. And a lot of times when you get them off the hook, they'll flip sideways and get you or you'll step on them. Sometimes people leave them on the beach and you'll step on them. If you're a tourist and you're walking along the beach and you know you think somebody might have been fishing, watch where you step because if he's dead and he's in the sand and there is a fin sticking up and it goes in your foot, it is going to get infected promise you it is going to be nasty and if you pull through it without going to the hospital power to you but you probably should go to the hospital because those things are gnarly so the number one spot and this one was tough this one was i battled with this one and that is the lionfish so there's an old saying that if it's pretty or beautiful don't touch it if it's ugly probably shouldn't touch it either but if it's pretty don't touch it the lionfish is beautiful but don't touch it. <laughs> this bad boy's got spines sticking out like this. Most of the things on the bottom out there won't touch it. It's an invasive species here on the Gulf Coast and they have lionfish rodeos. They're great to eat, but nothing on the, on the reef will really touch it. Goliath grouper will eat them, but they know better too, because these things got spines on them and it's got a venom toxin in it that will make your day awful. You want to play a crazy trick on somebody? Put one in an ice chest. Don't tell them. No, don't do that but even the game warden knows not to, not to do that one <laughs> if he thinks there's a, uh, a lionfish in that ice chest he's probably not going to check you no i'm just joking there no i'm just saying but if he's in the, in the ice chest don't stick your hands in there don't do it like you or your arm will go numb like it'll hurt like you're probably not going to die from it but you're going to wish you died from it these things are awful okay but they're beautiful some people have allergic reactions to them too uh, with the venom same way with some of these other fish if you're allergic to stuff uh, you better have an epi pen around the gulf coast because there's a lot of stuff that'll bite you we're not as bad as australia but there's a lot of stuff that'll bite you and hurt you so that's really it guys i wanted to do this video on the things that you need to look out for here on the gulf coast and in florida you know the critters at the beach that'll get you you know gotta watch out for the stingrays and the lionfish of course they're a little off but if you're diving off the coast like you'll run into them like if you're a couple miles out or you're within the inner shore or uh you know somebody's got one in an ice chest don't touch it um the sea lice you know i mean those are pretty random events but they do happen the hardhead catfish are everywhere and you will encounter them on the beach and if you fish and people just throwing them in the garbage cans and stuff because most of the time people don't put them back they just throw them up on the shore for them to die and that's how you step on them and we all hate jellyfish season but that's really it guys comment down below if you've had a bad encounter with these guys or if uh um which one is the one you hate the most don't forget to like and subscribe guys don't forget to comment and share I'll see you guys later tomorrow hopefully see you later